Learning is so important for people to know that every child can benefit from a visual put in place. We use pictures like if we have a child that has kind of a behavior issue and we might be having them work towards something, we might get a, a picture of what they like and we cut it up into a puzzle piece and they have to earn a piece of the puzzle so that they can earn that desired item. So that visual reminds them, oh geez, I gotta keep on task or do what I'm supposed to do because I'm trying to earn my playtime or I wanna earn that cookie or whatever it might be. So the visuals are really used in place for behavior management. We use visuals for strategies for kids that need help with their schedules. They're kids with anxiety, they're kind of worried about what's coming next. So we have their own individual schedules of what happens throughout their day, and we point to it or review it often. Sometimes kids will be screaming, I don't want to go to speech, or I don't want to go to gym, and we'll be like, oh, let's check the schedule. And we just refer to the schedule, and it's really the schedule's fault. It's not really my fault you have to come to speech, it's the schedule said so. So it kind of takes a little bit off yourself, and then these kids that like are schedule followers or maybe it really helps them, then they kind of, oh, well, geez, the schedule did say I have to do that in order to earn what I desire. Maybe you're a teacher and you're reading a story to a child and, or to the whole circle time. What we find sometimes is there's those kids that sit there and they're quiet and they're not really answering or participating. And it might be they're not quite sure what you're asking. So if you're reading a story out loud, we might pull up like a who. I'm gonna ask a who question. So I use a who phonemic cue card for them to look at. They're actually looking at this visual and it's gonna help them. So that who talks about a person. So if I said, who put out the fire? They would answer the firefighter because um, that goes with a who type of question so those cue cards can really help kids to kind of oh yeah that's what they're talking about and maybe you'll see them answering it a little bit more or feeling more relaxed <laughs>